and uh, they need to know. Facebook, 12% of the heavy users equals 66% of the visits. That's way too much for me, and if I'm going to be ad advising my clients on you know, how you're going to sell more cards, what's the mainstay of your media plan, you know, that statistic is going to come up. I want you all to use social media, don't get me wrong. I just want you to use it as additive, not the main portion of your media buy. And then 34% of light users equals 3% of the visits. Twitter, uh, one in five Twitter users has 10 followers, that's great, and uh, they, they tweet 10 times. So really enough said, I mean, this is small potatoes compared to what we're trying to accomplish, which is get maximum reach and sell maximum amount of cars. And that's where we come to effectiveness. This is what I promised you that you're really gonna like. Everybody's very aware today that television drives awareness, <coughs> television drives interest, and consideration. Yeah, that's pretty well accepted in, the, uh, in all industries. But we did a study that got to the bottom of the purchase funnel. Does television drive the want to desire to purchase a vehicle? Does it drive you to visit the, the, the dealership or a website? And is it the main factor in making the purchase? This is that hour-long study that we could present to you that I'm giving to you in one minute. This is the result. At the end of the day, television had the highest advertising impact through every stage of this purchase funnel. This is where you would expect it to be against all other mediums. This is where you'd expect it to be here, but here's the big surprise. Yes, television did in fact drive consumers to the website, <coughs> and it also was the main driver to actually purchasing a car.